This place is great, really comfortable. I'm just gonna get settled in. Time to move on, get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. said it was a long time ago let it go seriously Definitely more my style than Panama, or Hoboken, I guess. No, if I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right, it wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited, really. I really needed a new start. I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It certainly... It certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life. Just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny, ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. Hello everyone. Now, recently, as you might know, I was playing Silent Hill Homecoming. Uh, and uh, after uploading a few videos on YouTube uh, and reading some of the comments, somebody actually pointed out that the character movements and the look of the gameplay kind of reminded them of the Max Payne games. And I thought, yeah, that kind of makes sense. So, of course, I thought about the Max Payne series as a whole. And uh, I realized I absolutely adore this series of games. The first two games I already played on the channel a few years ago, they're some of my favorite action games of all time. They really are. And then I thought about this game, Max Payne 3, and I thought to myself, yeah, I really like this as well. I really enjoyed myself, but I don't think I've actually played this since it was initially released. And we're talking, I mean, this was released about half a decade ago now, so I think it's time I revisit it, and I experience it once again, and I bring you along for the journey. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot to like about this game, despite it being slightly different than the previous two. Uh, as you've already got a sort of taster of, it's a much more cinematic experience. There's a lot of cutscenes, but the gameplay is very, very fun. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. This is Max Payne 3. Let's start a new story. Let's start a new game. Right from the very beginning. Uh, okay, medium or hard? It's not going to be easy. Hard is tempting. I mean, I have played this game before. I kind of know what's coming up. Let's stick with medium, I might crank it up later.
So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent-a-clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. <laughs> I think I'll try and do a chapter of video, see how that goes. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for <laughs> now, we seem to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? It's scotch. I never mix my drinks. Yeah, well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. And something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities. Rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. Big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. So who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a co-capital do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> it's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. Guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Pass off! How was that? I don't know what the fuck that was. Let's go. Things had gone from fine to fucked up in about a second, <laughs> and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Ah, here we go. Clear. Got the floor? Sure. Right. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about. Trophy wife or not. 
I'd said I would protect the girl. And perhaps this time I I'll be successful. I lost my edge, along with everything else. Here we go then. <laughs> what, what are we, like 10 minutes in or something? We're trying to get to the gameplay. Right. Big tutorial section, but it's still a lot of fun. Bullet time, let's do it. There you go. To choose. A nasty fall or a bullet to the head. I think I'm going to go with the fall. Let's do this. Shoot dodge. All the good old stuff they brought back. New engine though, of course, as you can see. Oh god. Q. In fact, in retrospect, what this reminds me of isn't really the old Max Payne games. It's actually um, GTA 5 in the way you take cover and stuff. Yeah, it's cute. In fact, I think it's more or less the same controls. It might be more or less the same engine as well. I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, so you can <laughs> peek around corners. You can blind fire. We're going to be ruining that window. Uh, pick up extra guns. Let's see, you can dual wield, right? That's it. <laughs> uh, I can't tell you how much fun this is to play that again. Was the boss lady. Only this time she wasn't calling for more vodka in her Cosmo. Ah, that's right, I did remember well. Yeah, in this game there are collectibles. They're, like, they're called Golden Guns. I, I don't exactly know what you get for picking them up. And uh, I will just let you know that I won't be finding all of them in this playthrough. If you're looking for a walkthrough for them, look somewhere else, because I can't remember where they all are, but uh, I'll see if I can find as many as I possibly can. Are we done here? We might be done here, to be honest. Yeah. She was out on one of the balconies, and I hoped, not about to be thrown off it. Right. Okay, let's go out. I'm ready. Oh, that's right, I remember. It might have been stupidity, or drunkenness, or maybe both. <laughs> it, it's both. I knew it, I was back taking insane risks. Trying to save fallen women. Oh god, here we go. And... Dead. And a nice wet landing for me as well. Tranquila. Tranquila. Nós cuidamos disso. Nice work. <laughs> hey, you need a hand? No, you... Where the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Back to my old habits again. So as you can see already, it's quite different from the first two games. New locations, it was a new country, and new characters. But still the same old Max. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. <laughs> but there's no one else like you, Max. Right, let's see. Uh, hang on, wasn't there like a button for the camera and stuff? I looked at the controls before. Oh, it's H, there you go. Oh, there he is. Bronco! What Where is he? Done with him? Did I get him? I think I got him. Okay. Good, there's no one else. Right. After doing shoot dodges, of course, you're quite vulnerable lying on the floor, but in this game you can actually sort of defend yourself while lying down, which is quite nice. I seem to remember actually when this game came out, it was kind of revolutionary, the way you could sort of maneuver yourself while in the air and on the ground. It was really, really good. Okay. I want to say that there's a- right, there you go, there you go, I was actually walking on top of it. There's the second part of this golden gun. Again, I still don't know what this is for, but hopefully I can find out after I pick up the third bit. Oh. Right, yep, yep, already know about that. And yes, blind fire does work. It's not very accurate, but you know, it's better than nothing. Guy's got like a fucking shotgun by the looks of it. Let's take him out first if we can. Oh, he's advancing. Go on, get get a headshot. I don't want to poke my head around, you see? Oh, that's why. Oh, really? I didn't hit him? Did then. There he is, there he is. He's stunned, and he's dead. Okay. Is that it? I'm gonna tentatively move up. They weren't waiting on my say-so. I had to move. Okay, let's see. F, yep. So, with the gun situation, yeah, we can hold, uh... We can hold one big weapon, like the, the, the shotgun, for instance. We've got the two pistols, and of course we can dual wield as well. So, yeah. Yeah, it's very cool. Nice roll. Actually, wasn't that like G or something? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. 
Go on, do it. I know you're going to do it. There you go. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Never really mucked around with this too much, because if I'm going to kill someone, I just want to see him die. But, uh, yeah, you can slow and, and speed up the bullet cam to see exactly how you're killing all these people. So there you go. Let's see that spread right around his body. Ooh! And can continue shooting. I think this is all just, like, extra. I think he's already dead. But, yeah, you can continue to be, like, extremely malicious if you really want. I think I'll just save the ammo this time. Right. I'm fairly sure we can't actually go anywhere else. This is very, very linear, this bit, and I might actually want that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, ladies, gents, not getting into the toilets. I'll try this over here, but yeah, I think this is... Because it's the tutorial section, we don't have too much uh, exploration room. It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Okay, looks clear. Okay, what, Rodrigo oh. was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive almost as much as I did. Let's do something silly. Whoa! Oh, no, I didn't get that guy. Oh, I'm getting shot. Well, there you go. I can't... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't shoot while I'm on the ground. What's painkillers? I can't actually remember. <laughs> I'm going to need to use them. Oh, there you go. Yeah, if you didn't quite get it from the beginning, I'm kind of addicted to uh, pretty much everything. The control box was on the wall to the left of the gate. Right. Yeah, alcohol, drugs, and danger, I suppose. Here we go. Okay, back to this, please. Now I know there's going to be someone around here. Really? I'm not going to get rushed? Okay, maybe I don't remember this game quite as well as I thought I did. Although I think, actually, somewhere down here is maybe the final part of this golden gun, so... It'd be nice if I can find that just to determine exactly what the hell they're for. enough favors. I didn't need to give them more of a head start. No? Oh, hang on. Yeah, that could be it over here. Yeah, quite well hidden. Yellow on yellow, but there you go. Part three of three. The golden PT-92. Search for okay, that might be something for multiplayer. I'm not sure. Oh, there you go. The great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. <laughs> Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? Not the first time for you, Max, is it? Okay. Did that guy die? I don't think I saw the X. You usually get an X when you kill someone. Like that. Anyone else? Didn't think you were dead. Nice. Very nice. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, shoot the tires. And then shoot everything else. Here we go. <laughs> it's like the fucking Matrix. Is that it? Alright, yeah, yeah, let's get him out. Thanks. <laughs> oh shit. One over there. Oh! Nice shot. Nice shot. God, this is fun to play. But yeah, very heavy on the cutscenes. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. Now, I think the reason there's so many cutscenes in this game is because they're all there to mask loading screens. It's okay. It's all very seamless, all very, as I said before, it's all very cinematic. <laughs> I love that even with the subtitles on, I still can't understand what they're saying. I guess Max doesn't know Portuguese. Call an ambulance. I mean, I <laughs> that's obvious enough, right? Fuck. You did good, Max. <laughs> really? You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. 
Different branch of the police, not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff, politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. I am kind of beat up. Home and then I'll, I'll get you home too, come on. Right. You know, there is one thing I do miss from the old games, and I think that's the sort of comic strip segments. You kind of get the same look in some of the cutscenes, but it's it's just not the same. Back home, it was time for some R&R. &R, the only way I knew how. With some pills and booze, right? Yep. <laughs> pills in one hand, and uh, Kong in the other. Jeez, Max. It's kind of heartbreaking, really. And with that, I guess I was ready for bed. Go on, do it. I know you're gonna do it. There you go. <laughs> okay. Did that guy die? I don't think I saw the X. You usually get an X when you kill someone. Like that. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Shoot the tires. And then shoot everything else. Here we go. Rodrigo! I'm here! It's like the fucking Matrix. Alright, yeah, yeah, let's get him out. Thanks. <laughs> Oh shit! Fuck. You did good, Max. <laughs> really? You say so. It was time for some R and R. The only way I knew how. With some pills and booze, right? Yep. <laughs> pills in one hand, and uh, Kong in the other. Jeez, Max.